Anuncio Hobbies Gaudium Magnum. Abemus Papam. Pete, que il dovere del conclave era di dare un vescovo a Roma. Sembra che i miei fratelli cardinali sono andati a prenderlo quasi alla fine del mondo, ma siamo qui. Church that will not stay still, a non-static church. We can be sure that this will be the church of Pope Francis. This has always set Bergoglio apart. A great Jesuit, a man of excellent formation. Above all, he is a man of action. If we read Pope Francis's writings, we're going to always see this concern with going to the frontiers of poverty, of exclusion, and of those who are furthest from God. He was always a person who had a lot of courage and plenty of bravery to stand before the powerful and say what he thought. The voice of those who had no voice. That was Cardinal Bergoglio. A man who is kind of a desert saint and a great and brilliant administrator. The combination of these two characteristics is not very common. Pope Francis, his life has been exemplary in precisely the type of personal witness that the new evangelization calls for. He becomes a model for millions of Catholics around the world today. Argentina is a country of sweeping beauty and diversity. Here you will find some of the world's tallest mountains, largest prairies, and breathtaking waterfalls. And when standing on the Tierra del Fuego, the southernmost tip of the country, one can look out towards Antarctica and truly say, I have traveled to the ends of the earth. But the cultural heart of Argentina is Buenos Aires, known as the Paris of South America. It is a sprawling cosmopolitan city, highlighted by its European-style architecture and rich cultural life. But it is also a city of stark contrasts, where a dark underside of poverty and crime consume entire neighborhoods. In the 20th century, millions of immigrants arrived on these shores, seeking a better life. The future Pope Francis was born into a family of Italian origin. His father, Mario Bergoglio, hailed from the Piemonte region of Italy. He and his wife, Regina, settled into Barrio Flores, a teeming neighborhood of immigrants. They raised their family of five children in this home. He was a regular boy. He didn't stand out in any remarkable way. He was very polite, very neat. He went to a public school. His parents were from a modest family, and Bergoglio was a great lover of the tango. He was a passionate fan of the tango stars Carlos Gardel and Ada Falcone. Young Bergoglio's passion for the tango only paled in comparison to his love for San Lorenzo de Almagro, the Buenos Aires soccer team he continues to follow as Pope. 